say that everybody that went on that train ride yesterday, that was just very pleasant. And, uh, and the, the play was clean. Sometimes you do have to be a little concerned about that. The wind whipped us all around on the way down there. That big church van, the wind hits that, and I'll tell you what, wow. Uh, on the way back, I only drove 60 miles an hour, even though it was 70 miles an hour, uh, because I'd rather us be safe and alive and back here today. Well, you know, as good as it was to have that mystery uh, dinner train ride that many of us was on, it's better to be in the house of God today. The Bible says, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Amen. Precious Heavenly Father, we thank you for each one who's here uh, in this house today. We thank you for each child, each adult, each teenager. We ask, Lord, that as we gather here today, we would uh, feel your presence, that we would glean from your word, that the words that come out of our lips that would be praises to you would be from our heart, not just something that we're reading in a hymnal, O oh God, because we love you this morning. We thank you for sending your son, Jesus Christ, we thank you for the forgiveness of our sins. We thank you of a home in heaven prepared for those above you. In Jesus' name. Everybody said, Amen. Amen. Great is thy
2007 was the last time we sung that. I tried to keep a record. And when I realized it had been that long ago that we had sung Jesus, I just want to thank you. I thought we need to bring that one back out. Because God is good. And God is faithful. And you can trust Him no matter what season of life you're in and no matter what you're going through. And so sometimes it just calls for a response. A response of praise, a response of thanksgiving, a response of glory to God. Amen. Give thanks to the Lord our God and King.
promised not to forsake you. He is with you to the end. Amen? Hallelujah. Sister Truck is coming in this time.
sings my soul. 